from 2 Timothy chapter 3, but you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true, for you know you can trust those who taught you. You have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip His people to do every good work. I love that verse. Paul is talking to Timothy and he's saying, we have the Word of God to lead and guide us in life, in our lives. No hunting. What do you think that means? Well, I could try to hunt here because maybe he just means no hunting on Sundays. Maybe he means no hunting if you're over 40. I mean, people are always trying to interpret God's word to fit their needs, aren't they? No hunting. I take that to mean no, which means none, hunting, like where you walk and you look for wildlife and you shoot it. This sign is saying, no, you don't do that. Nada, nothing. Okay? There's no other way to interpret it than do not step on this property and do not hunt. That's how I look at God's word. God's word is the deciding factor. Not your opinion, not your feeling, not what you think, not because it's the 21st century. Okay, we live in such a crazy time right now. And I'm sure that it was like that a long time ago too. We just hear more about it now. But I'll just bring up an example. Marriage. God instituted marriage. A man shall leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife. And the two shall become one. Adam and Eve. Perfect. But now we got so much interpretation of what does marriage really mean? It's kind of like dissecting this. No hunting. What can that mean? Well, I think it means no hunting. Marriage. A man and a woman. See, that's just one example. This is one example. God's word is there to correct. Where, where does it say this? To make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. I want to do what is right, don't you? Just think if everybody did what was right. You could leave your house unlocked. Nobody would steal. Nobody would rob you. You could leave your truck unlocked. Nobody would take anything out of your truck. Just think if you respected everybody like the Bible said. That means at work, you'd have no problems with people because people would treat you with kindness. They would, they would do their job as if working for the Lord. They would go up to their boss and say, hey, I want to do a good job, help me. And the boss would say, cool, I'm glad you want to do that. I'm going to guide you. Just think what it would be like. Man, a workplace, home, God's word is there for us. It teaches us what is wrong in our lives. Sometimes it just says, no, you fill in the blank. And what do parents say to kids sometimes? No means no. Simple as that. God, thank you for your word. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word that guides us and helps us in this world. Help us to do what is right and to trust in you. This is Pastor John from The Branch. I hope you have a great day and search that word out because it will make your life so much better as you learn to follow Jesus Christ, the one who takes us to heaven one day when we die, when we trust in him. Have a great day.